Wednesday morning. I actually already dropped Evie off at school and then I have a doctor appointment later. But I had like 45 minutes to kill so I and nothing is open right now because I need to go to the dollar store. It's not open. I thought about going to the thrift store but it was the total opposite direction and it probably wouldn't have been open anyways. I think it opens at 10. Um, so anyways, basically I just decided to come back home and just tidy up here for a little bit and then go back out to my doctor appointment because it's not too far away. So I'm just in the girls room. I'm going to make their beds um, and just maybe throw in some laundry, empty the dishwasher and then go back out to my appointment. Okay, just spent a little while in the kitchen the remainder of the time just unloading the dishwasher, putting away dishes that were washed last night. I just scrubbed down the sink with baking soda. My mums are dying. I'm very sad about this. I was so consistent with watering them and I just think they, they just have a lifespan and then that's it. I don't know. But it is time to go now and run out to my doctor appointment which will probably be very quick and then we might run a couple of other errands. I'm on the hunt for some, I haven't started hunting, just in my mind, and seeing things on Instagram and other advertisements that pop up. Uh, I need some boots, so like some low booties, I guess. The problem is, I guess I should have really complained about it, but I have very tiny ankles, so when I wear booties, the low booties, they just like gap around my ankle, so. It's been, I've never really, I guess I had one pair a few years ago that I liked, but they, I really ran them into the ground. So I got rid of them in like the springtime and I said when fall and winter come, I'm just going to have to get a new pair. So I was thinking of going to a shoe store today because um, we have the pizza fundraiser. We're going to be picking up pizza tonight for dinner, so I don't have to make dinner. So that's really nice. I'm hoping to work more in the nursery. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing about this, but I'm hoping to do that at nap time. But between my doctor appointment and lunch, um, I thought maybe I'd go look for some shoes possibly. But it is time for us to head out and go to the doctor. So I haven't been here in years, but we're gonna check it out. Famous footwear, because Evie needs shoes too. don't need rain boots, but if I did, these are so cute. Sperry's. Oh my gosh. They're really nice. Alright, so we are back home from running errands. I didn't find anything at Famous Footwear, but we did go to Marshall's after, and I forgot that Marshall's had shoes, and I actually did find a pair of booties that I really like. Um, I'll show them to you. I, you know, it's hard to buy shoes when you're nine months pregnant. Because the pair I tried on at um, Famous Footwear I liked, but it felt a little snug. And I was like, is this snug because it's because of the size or is it because my feet are swollen? I don't think that they are at this point with Evie. Oh my goodness, my <laughs> feet and ankles were so swollen. And all my regular shoes fit fine right now. I haven't noticed them feeling any tighter. So I went with my normal size on the pair that I found at Marshall's and I think that they'll be fine. So I found this pair. They are Franco Sardo and they were only $39 which I think is a fantastic deal and they are really nice. So they're genuine leather and on the upper at least. So they're very very comfortable and just good quality and they're kind of like a gray color which I think my old pair was kind of this color too and it's nice because it can go with black or it can go with browns because the heel is kind of brown. So I did go with a 7 which is my normal shoe size and I think 
that they're going to be all right and they're not too big around the ankle which was important to me um something i can also wear with dresses because you guys know i love dresses um so yeah i'm happy about those and then while i was there evie does or did need a pair of like play shoes so she has sneakers that she can wear to school for like gym days and then she has school shoes but she needs just like play shoes for when she's home or we're just running somewhere i don't know so these are kind of springy summery with the ladybugs on it but they're tommy hill figure they feel like really good quality and the best part was they were on clearance for 13 dollars. so she wasn't there with me obviously to try them on hopefully they fit if they don't i could always just return them but i thought those were really cute and then something I have been wanting for a while is an apron for when I'm in the kitchen. And I don't know, I just never wanted to spend the money, but I've ruined too many outfits with grease splatter. So I finally bit the bullet and paid $6.99 and got this cute one. They had some really lovely like holiday ones, Thanksgiving colors or Christmas colors and patterns. But I just went with something that would work year round that doesn't have to just be for, you know, the fall or Christmas time or whatever. So a gray ticking stripe. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. And then lastly, one of my husband's biggest gripes in the kitchen is our cooking, our pans, basically. We pretty much only own two pans that we use every single day, a 12 inch and an eight inch. And he absolutely hates them and he tells me every time he uses them how much he dislikes them. So when I saw this set that was copper and navy blue, I was like, how gorgeous is this? And I've heard good things about the copper, the nonstick. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade a little. The handles are all greasy because we were snacking on these veggie chips while we were there and Lara was touching them and yeah, that's pretty gross. But they were not very expensive. $7.99 for the eight inch and $12.99 for the 12 inch. So this one fell asleep in the car on the way back and I thought she would be done and down for her nap. So I put it in her room and she came out about five minutes later. So I don't know if her nap is totally ruined, but we hadn't had lunch. So she's just eating right now. Um, I'm hoping to get her back down for a nap, if not just quiet time, because I need to work in the nursery. But I also did stop in Dollar Tree because I have to bring in plates. Evie's having like a, a classroom party on Friday and I volunteered to bring plates. And I almost got them at home or Marshall's because I didn't think about it until I was in the checkout line. And you know, they have all those impulse purchases on the shelves there. And I saw some fall plates and I was like, oh yeah, I have to get those for her party. I was like, okay, I'll just take these. But they were $4.99 for a set of um, like 10 or 12 or something. And we would need at least double that for the class party. So I was about to spend $10 on two packs of plates. And I was like, Hillary, what are you doing? This is madness. So I put them down, walked over to the Dollar Tree, and then I picked up these packs, which are adorable and will be perfect for her fall party. And you get 18 in a pack for $1. So... Yeah, I um, I just saved myself $8 right there. Um, but while I was at Dollar Tree, of course, you find all the other things that you weren't looking for. But I have been wanting um, a couple of these wreath hangers. We are actually going to be changing out the basement door, finally, I'm so excited, to a French door. So we picked this up yesterday. But these doors don't, it just comes like totally stock there's no hole for the handle there's no you know you have to cut out for the hinges you have to trim the door to fit so that's going to be another project but when i am when we're done with it i would like to hang a wreath on it around christmas time so that's why i got it for there and then we did need another one for our front door you can't beat a dollar and they also came in green and red i wish there was a black one because our door is black 
but I figured the gold would work just fine. And then I think they have these every year, but I never have picked one up. And it's a Christmas card garland. So basically you can string this up and then there's little clips and then you would, you know, clip on your Christmas cards to display them. Because we didn't really have a good system last year. I just stuck them like on the side of this cabinet on either side, which I guess worked out okay. But I think this could be a much cuter solution. So I'm in the girls' room because they have the full length mirror. And here are the booties. I really like them. They're very, very comfortable. I'm just gonna wear them around the house right now to kind of like break them in. And I only have on like those really thin like skimmer socks right now. I don't have like thick, um, you know, thicker socks, <laughs> winter socks. But I really like them. I think they'll look cute too with, um, you know, dresses and stuff. Because I don't know when I'm gonna be fitting back into pants. After baby number three, I feel like I'm gonna be in dresses a lot. But these are really cute. So I got one side of one door totally finished. This door is about half finished and then I need to paint back sides of both of the doors. Although I'm really tempted not to paint the back side of the closet door because you won't really see it but I know it'll bother me to not have it done. And you can see that there is some difference between like the really white door and the wall color. It's slightly creamier which is what I was going for. I was trying to explain to you guys yesterday that it's not stark white. It's got a little bit of a creamy color, but we gotta go. This one did not nap. <laughs> Again, she only napped for like 20 minutes in the car, but we gotta go get Evie and pick up our pizza. Come on, come through the maze. <laughs> Good job. So no matter how clear I make the island, as soon as they get home from school, it's a mess again. Uh, the girls wanted to eat their pizza now, so I said, you know what, why not? Why? Why fight it? You want to eat some pizza? Go ahead, eat some pizza. So they already had that. Well, Lara still has some peppers left over and half of an orange, so we'll leave that out. But I already cleaned out her lunchbox. She had eaten everything but her peppers, but she ate them right now. Um, and then her lunchbox I cleaned out. I think she's just gonna wind up having leftover pizza for lunch tomorrow. So I'll just refill that in her little snack container. And her water bottle I rinsed out and cleaned. And yeah, she got a book from the school library today. We're working on sight words, which she can read all of those, no problem. So it's 4.40, and because I don't have to make dinner, I'm gonna go keep working in the nursery and painting the doors. Um, this also came with salad, so it's nice, full, di full dinner. And yes, they're gonna have pizza as an afternoon snack, and they're gonna have pizza again for dinner, and I'm okay with that. So while I go paint, the girls are working on some crafts. I have these like farm stickers. Oh, you ripped it. Um, I got these like, there was a preschool that was going out of business. This was a while ago, like year and a half ago probably. And I got tons of craft stuff. So this is, I hide it away and then pull it out every now and then. So it's interesting and fun. Okay, I got both sides of both doors completely done. I didn't want to do the back of the closet, but I had the paint out and it really doesn't take that long. So I just did it and I'm very glad to, to be done. But Dan's home now, so we're gonna go have pizza and dinner and hopefully Lyra will go down to bed pretty early because she didn't really nap today. Um, and Evie is pretty much always <laughs> goes to bed on time. She is tired at the end of a school day, so we're gonna go have dinner. <laughs> 